What's up, y'all? You know we got the Eagles this week, and I wanted to do a preview, but before I do that, I wanted to talk about sportsbettingdime.com. They're the only place I trust for up-to-date odds and information before game day. They have these game preview pages where they break down the matchup, the spread, over, under, and any injuries that may affect the outcome of the game, and you know I had to check out the Eagles versus Cowboys page. The head-to-head stats give you a side-by-side comparison of each team's yards per game, turnovers, points allowed per game, and any other stats you may need. I use for fantasy football as well. And like always, I'll leave the link in the description, but I want you to go in the comment section and tell me how many points we're going to beat the Eagles by. That's sportsbettingdime.com. Check it out. Let's get started. And the first thing you notice when you watch the Eagles, I like to watch the Eagles defense first because I'm an offense guy. And, man, first thing I know is let me run this. Uh, we're down bottom here. They like to let, let wide receivers just run past them. You know, they, 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 they want to let people. They don't feel satisfied as a team until they let at least one wide receiver per game just run past you. Now, this ain't like Amari Cooper that does, like, three moves and then he sets up something else and gets separation and then – he flies or whatever. Devontae Adams just decided to run past this guy, right? And if you have receivers that can run past this guy, then let's make it a point to to you know test these uh, test these uh, these uh, cornerbacks early. And I thought it was just because Devontae Adams is is really good, but I, I kept searching. They even let Marvin Jones get big chunks of yardage. <laughs> Wait a minute! Don't laugh! Don't laugh when I say this. Everybody stop. And then Calvin Ridley down bottom got big chunks of yardage. <laughs> Something else I noticed about these Philly Eagle DBs, take a look at Julio Jones down bottom, is once you get the ball to a guy in open space, just let him fly. Because I don't really think they want to tackle people. You know what I mean? Like, like the angles aren't great. But then I just don't think they want to engage with these people. It's not just this example goal line we got the cornerback right here safety there we're gonna run the football and they don't want to tackle here and we got Devonte adams up top that's making people do this weird cartoonish spin trying to tackle him i just, what do you do? get up stop it <laughs> you know what i mean so hey man put as many playmakers in open space the weather be you know whoever we end up running out there um Put these guys in open space and just let them get yak yardage against these DBs, man. They don't want to be out there, man. They want to go. They want to go play for another team. They want to be in Tampa Bay somewhere. Then on the other side of the ball, and I think this is the biggest key to win out of everything, um, because I think we'll, we will be able to put points up on them. But Carson Wentz just ain't really gonna let you sack him for real, for real. But he does like to hold the ball sometimes, right? Let's run this play. So if you catch Carson Wentz in a situation where he's trying to play hero ball, where he doesn't want to dump the ball off, where he wants to take these big chunk yardages downfield, then get hands on him. Get sacks on him because you're not going to get many opportunities. But when he holds the ball, that's when you should go get him. Here's another example. Him sitting in the pocket all day is going to take the snap. He's not going to get rid of the ball. He's going to wait for it, and he's going to move around, keep his eyes downfield, and he's going to give you a sack. Oh, I got some more beautiful bean footage of Carson Wentz getting sacked, boy. It, every time I say Carson got sacked, it make my teeth whiter. I, I just love it. And it seems to be consistent. Even here versus uh, versus the Falcons, he'll miss a read, hold on to the ball, drop his head, and, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll let you have him. So I think the Cowboys should do everything they can do to try to produce these these uh, cover sacks here. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, they got you, fam. They got you down right there. We should we should try to get as uh, get as many cover sacks as we can, man. Like like just cover these guys up, and you know Carson will let us get them. And I could be wrong, but does he like to scramble to his left? Like, is that a tendency? I was just looking at all these sacks, and you know if he's sacked while scrambling, it's while rolling to the left. I find that interesting. And that's Robert Quinn's side. So let's try to use that to an advantage. And he goes scrambling to his left again. Hey, man, I'm done, man. Um, the Cowboys need a win in the worst way. The Eagles kind of do, too. And they're not just going to roll over and let you come in and beat them. You know what I'm saying? So we need to do everything we need to do to seal this win up. Go to this bye week. Get healthy. You know what I'm saying? Get healthy. Come back and play the Giants, man. Let's get two. Let's get two wins in a row, man. Let's get back on the roll. Ah. <sighs>
being the voice of reason is never easy. Anyway, um, I want to give another shout out to SBD sports betting dime.com. You go on there, check out the link in my description, check out the Cowboys versus Eagles page, check out everything on there, check out the Super Bowl tracker, the MVP tracker. They got a lot of good tools and information over there. So if you're one of those analytics guys, you want those information guys, if you're one of those stats guys, go over there and check them out, man. They got some useful stuff over there. Uh, follow me on Twitter. That's Vosh Lombardi, V O C H L O N B A R D I. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I go live and when I drop random videos in the middle of the week, just like this. People love the like button. The like button is cool, but that notification bell so you know when I go live. That's the most important button I need for y'all. Subs and notifications, all right? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and Peace, man. Peace.